Zorro. I'm not kidding. Every other movie, Hollywood admits they have a directive, has women as the heroes and men as bad. The new Mad Max, Fury Road, is really feminist road, where all the men are killed at the end to create a utopia. This isn't to empower women. It's to make women be all alone, families destroyed. This is a scientific takedown plan, just like Cloward and Piven wants to bankrupt our economy to make us domesticated. Joel Skousen will be with us till five minutes into the next hour, worldaffairsbrief.com. One of the smartest people when it comes to global analysis, because I do a lot of research so I can tell when somebody knows what they're talking about. He's taught me a lot. We all teach each other. I want to get his take on this first, on some other waterfront issues that he didn't even know I was going to bring up. Then at the bottom of the hour, we will detail geopolitically the headlines. NATO general says we may have World War III. Uh, uh, the NSA analyst, we may have World War III. George Soros, we may have World War III. What's really behind the sandcastles in the South China Sea? The bases are building. What's behind all this? We're going to be breaking it down today. But first, about a month ago, I said, you know, I don't want to just air ads on the radio here, especially on the Internet side. That's the podcast and the millions that tune in via the streams and other systems. I want to start having our great reporters do one-minute InfoWars bulletins vignettes. And boy, they've taken to it like a fish to water. Uh, new reports every day. I'm going to create an archive on InfoWars.com so stations can just grab these and air these whenever they'd like as well and put their own tags on them if they wish. We're going to also uh, start providing it to folks that want to put video to it on YouTube. Uh, by next week, we're going to have a page where when they upload these, they're there for you. Or you can just record the stream and do it yourself. Don't wait for us. Just take action. You may wait for the rest of your life. We're trying as hard as we can. Uh, but we need the funding to get the crew to build up and expand our reach. Everything we do is a success by the grace of God. All the glory goes to God. Lord knows my best works are dirty rags, as the Bible says. But everything we're doing is having a huge effect. And that shows us as we lens up, as we magnify up, as we amplify, we can have devastating effects on the globalist, and so can you. But I want to just air one of these reports, because what I love about David Knight and other reporters is they get it. They do multifaceted reports that don't just say, Peter Singer, you know, wants to free chimpanzees. Well, I, I want to treat chimpanzees well as well. The problem is, Peter Singer is the grand poobah of PETA. Peter Singer says kill kids up to age three or five. This is now being pushed openly. They only want to give animals rights just so government can say they have the votes of the animals and that they represent them as guardians to trump all of our rights. So that's what this animal rights movement is about. It's very, very dangerous. And they're going to use the extremes of factory farming and things that are abominations and bad for humans to then have a whole new revolution that's anti-human. And you hear this one-minute report. The reports Shikari Jackson's doing and Rob Dew and Leanne McAdoo and just the whole crew are simply amazing. And I want to encourage my writers to do this. Of all the things I just mentioned. And know that those are destructive lifestyles. So the larger question is, why is this agenda being pushed? And it's what Joel Scals and the editor of World Affairs Brief always talks about. The global social engineers do not want you to be able to discriminate. And by discriminate, when you're driving down the road, there is a dotted line, stripes, and reflectors down the middle so you can discriminate which lane you're in. So you don't go into oncoming traffic. Vision helps you discriminate. Taste tells you what is good food or good water. Smell. And they've moved from political correctness saying don't say racist things and group guilt to now brown paper bags are banned in the city of Seattle state government, city government, because brown might hurt someone's feelings. No one ever said a brown bag was connected to race. No one ever said that it was racist. It doesn't matter. It's about banning whatever they want, whenever they want, and restricting speech. And now Senator Rubio has come out and said gay agenda's next step is to define mainstream Christianity as hate speech. Well, Europe's already done that. But see, Rubio needs some red meat he can talk about 
while not actually defending marriage. And now we have the headlines. Court bans choose life license plate as patently offensive in shocking ruling. If you go to the story, it's just a little normal license plate saying, I choose life. Just saying, I choose life is offensive. The appeals court in New York agreed and said it's banned. The Second Circuit Court of Appeals in Manhattan ruled choose life license plates are patently offensive. You can put on there that you're a slut. You can put the word cocaine on there. This has been in court. But you will not say adopt babies. You will not say you're pro-life. This is the tyranny. Like the woman that got attention a few days ago, court-martialed in the Marines because on her computer screensaver, it said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Be a great slogan for the U.S. military. But no, it's banned. I have another report here. The new Jurassic Park movie is being criticized because it has a male hero. I'm not kidding. Every other movie, Hollywood admits they have a directive, has women as the heroes and men as bad. The new Mad Max, Fury Road, is really feminist road where all the men are killed at the end to create a utopia. This isn't to empower women. It's to make women be all alone, families destroyed. This is a scientific takedown plan, just like Cloward and Piven wants to bankrupt our economy to make us domesticated. Joel Skousen will be with us till five minutes into the next hour, worldaffairsbrief.com, one of the smartest people when it comes to global analysis, because I do a lot of research so I can tell when somebody knows what they're talking about. He's taught me a lot. We all teach each other. I want to get his take on this first, on some other waterfront issues that he didn't even know I was going to bring up. Then at the bottom of the hour, we will detail geopolitically the headlines. NATO general says we may have World War III. Uh, uh, the NSA analyst, we may have World War III. George Soros, we may have World War III. What's really behind the sandcastles in the South China Sea? The bases they're building. What's behind all this? We're going to be breaking it down today. But first, about a month ago, I said, you know, I don't want to just air ads on the radio here, especially on the Internet side. It's the podcast and the millions that tune in via the streams and other systems. I want to start having our great reporters do one-minute InfoWars bulletins vignettes. And boy, they've taken to it like a fish to water. Uh, new reports every day. I'm going to create an archive on InfoWars.com so stations can just grab these and air these whenever they'd like as well and put their own tags on them if they wish. We're going to also uh, start providing it to folks that want to put video to it on YouTube. Uh, by next week, we're going to have a page where when they upload these, they're there for you. Or you can just record the stream and do it yourself. Don't wait for us. Just take action. You may wait for the rest of your life. We're trying as hard as we can. Uh, but we need the funding to get the crew to build up and expand our reach. Everything we do is a success by the grace of God. All the glory goes to God. Lord knows my best works are dirty rags. As the Bible says... But everything we're doing is having a huge effect. And that shows us as we lens up, as we magnify up, as we amplify, we can have devastating effects on the globalist, and so can you. But I want to just air one of these reports, because what I love about David Knight and other reporters is they get it. They do multifaceted reports that don't just say, Peter Singer, you know, wants to free chimpanzees. Well, I, I want to treat chimpanzees well as well. The problem is, Peter Singer is the grand poobah of PETA. Peter Singer says kill kids up to age three or five. This is now being pushed openly. They only want to give animals rights just so government can say they have the votes of the animals and that they represent them as guardians to trump all of our rights. So that's what this animal rights movement is about. It's very, very dangerous. And they're going to use the extremes of factory farming and things that are abominations and bad for humans to then have a whole new revolution that's anti-human. And you hear this one-minute report, the reports Jakari Jackson's doing and Rob Dew and Leanne McAdoo and just the whole crew are simply amazing. And I want to encourage my writers to do these. I want to encourage listeners to do one-minute pieces that you email show tips at infowars.com. And if they're good, we'll play them here on the radio. I'm here to get everybody in the fight. Everybody. That's how we're going to win. 
And out of that whole field of people taking action, we're going to find the naturals that are going to be the next wave leaders against the globalist. Let's go to that one minute clip and then we're going to go to Joel Skousen. Here it is. A hearing schedule for today will focus on whether two chimpanzees held by Stony Brook University are property of the university or must be set free. Champions of the concept of speciesism, like Peter Singer, argue that the chimps should have human rights because they are, quote, comparable to three-year-old humans and their capacity for self-awareness, unquote. The problem is, Singer has argued that Down's syndrome children should be euthanized because, quote, they will never be able to play the guitar or develop an appreciation of science fiction, learn a foreign language, or chat with us about the latest Woody Allen movie, unquote. Singer's speciesism is not about elevating animal treatment. It's about creating a justification for devaluing human life in all conditions, at all ages. We will not allow scientific elitists and eugenicists like Peter Singer to deny human liberty and dignity. This is David Knight reporting for Infowars.com. That 60-second piece is an is a education. Decoding the propaganda. They set the precedent that they're the moral authority. They send out you know, some 20-year-old college student to scream and say, I kill my babies, I love Satan. Uh, we're going to ban your free speech because we're so moral, as you saw last week or heard last week here live on the radio, shutting down a pro-life demonstration we had. And they were so arrogant because they're the moral authority. And they talked on their website about the red terror and how they want to take us out as if they could. I don't know how you're evil but then think you're good, but there is that. There's that weird mindset, you know, the top globalists are pure evil and know it and love it. But their minions believe they're good, but have every manifestation from cloaking themselves in black to praising and hailing Satan, to praising the death of children, to the gleam in their eye. To, and, and, and they also have the cloak of weakness on them at the same time. It's very biblical. I'm going to skip this network break, last one of the day, to give Joel Skousen more time, worldaffairsbrief.com. Joel, I've been ranting for 10 minutes while you've been holding, but I wanted to open up with this breakdown of the assault on life, the assault on judgment, the assault on decency. They're not truly uh, pushing where we're tolerant. It means we must give up who we are, like I guess in Sodom and Gomorrah, where the crowd comes to the door and says, you know, give us your kids and then, you know, give us those men that are with you that are really angels or we're going to kill you. I mean, it's really about us submitting and being conquered by them, isn't it, Joel? It is indeed, Alex. Um, I stated many years ago when I was interviewed, one of the few token conservatives interviewed by television of Washington, D.C. on the Martin Luther King passage of the uh, Civil Rights Bill. And I said, you know, this is a very dangerous bill because it represents an intrusion into people's personal choices on their own property. And, of course, the Supreme Court had ruled that uh, once you offer service to the public, it no longer becomes private property, but public property, which is a very terrible ruling. The problem that I see in all of these things is there's a legal principle here that's violated, and that is you'd never allow in law an unlimited system of lawmaking. And that's what intrusions into discrimination do. It has to be defended like free speech. In other words, you have to defend free speech no matter if you love, if you hate it, if it's offensive. On their own property, people are free to speak their entire will. And people need to be free to choose who, with whom they will associate with uh, on their own property. And, of course, the Supreme Court has cut into what is your own property so that if anything is uh, audible by the public, it ceases to become private. I don't know where this is going, Alex, but I'll tell you, uh, it is going to attack people who they are. They're not satisfied, as you said, with tolerance. They want to destroy and silence those of us who believe that there are certain things that hold negative judgments about certain people's behavior. They do fear judgment. Yeah, judgment's always been hated by socialists. You know, the free market runs on judgment. And there's a natural propensity of human beings to dislike other people's judgment because they judge them as they are. You know, the free market says, uh, really gives everyone, uh, over time, rewards according to their true worth. 
and that's to be judged by each individual. And so you say, well, I'm being misjudged. Well, fine, go to the next person. Try to get a, a, a better judgment from them. You know, it's a, it's a process of negotiation in the free markets to get people to accept who you really are.